Revelation chapter 12 Imam Mahdi in Bible Return of Jesus part 3 of 13 In this video I will explain chapter 12 line by line It discusses about promised leader of Islam Imam Mahdi Revelation chapter 12 is the chapter of Imam Mahdi It is an explanation from Islamic point of view it greatly differs from the traditional explanation of Christian scholars. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain, looking to her time of delivery. Holy Bible. In Bible prophecy, omen means priest or a priestly system. Omen was clothed with the sun. So it is an enlightened priestly system. Omen has moon under her feet. So it will cross a great time. Woman has crown of twelve stars on her head. So it is a priestly system with twelve priests. She was pregnant. So a great one would be born in that house of priests. All these points match with the Shia faith. 80% of the Shia Muslims are from a sect named Twelvers. They believe 12 Im Imams, priestly leaders, from the house of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were only genuine Imams. And out of them, 12th Imam is the promised leader, Imam Mahdi. Imam Mahdi is promised leader in Islam who would appear immediately before Jesus Christ and free Muslims from Christian occupation and re-established Caliphate. As we know, Khilafat has been destroyed in First World War. He will also assist Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 12 verse 3 and 4 Then another sign appeared, a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and wearing seven crowns on its, on its heads. It had just swept along a third of the stars of heaven with its tail, throwing them down to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth, so that it might devour the child as soon as it was born. Holy Bible In Bible prophecy, dragon means shaitan. In the vision appeared the shaitan with seven heads and ten horns. It is the shaitan who will achieve immense power over Roman Empire revived by the beast and Antichrist in the end time. Reference Revelation chapter 13 that is discussed in the next video. Shaitan stood in front of the woman, meaning it is the opponent of the baby. The shaitan at that time was working through Abbasid Caliph at Baghdad who was about to kill the baby. Revelation chapter 12 verse 5 and 6 She gave birth to a male child, the one who is to rule all the nations with an iron scepter. Then her child was seized and taken up to God and to his throne. Holy Bible Imam Mahdi was born in 868 AD. At the age of five years, he has been taken up in the shelter of God. According to Shia belief, he has been living in the occultation since 872 AD and will continue as long as God wills it. The Shiites believe that Imam Mahdi hid himself in a cave below a mosque in Samara. This cave is blocked by a gate which the Shiites call Bab al Gaiba or the gate of occultation. This is, this is one of the most sacred sites in Shia Islam. And the faithful gather here to pray for the return of the 12th Imam, Imam Mahdi. 
In the religion of Abraham, we find only one story where a child has been taken to God. It is a foundation faith of almost 95% Iranians. They even occasionally pray for promised leader Imam Mahdi. They boost up the morale of their soldiers saying that they are preparing for promised leader Imam Mahdi. Also consider that the woman had 12 stars on her head, meaning the child is from the house of 12 Imam. Some would say that the child is Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ was not taken up as child, and Jesus, was, Jesus will not rule with iron scepter or rod, iron rod, meaning weapon. This iron scepter indicates that the child will be a military leader. Imam Mahdi is purely a military leader. He will free Muslim countries from Christian occupation. Imam Mahdi will confront Antichrist. But he is not capable or destined to kill it. He will then wait for Jesus to descend and destroy Antichrist. Revelation chapter 19 talks further about this child who will rule with an iron scepter or rod, meaning weapon. Going to Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11 to 15. Doc that talks further about this person who will rule by an iron, escape, iron rod or iron scepter. Many says these verses are also talking about Jesus, but these do not look like attributes of Jesus Christ. I will explain these verses one by one. Verse 11 Then I saw heaven opened with a white horse. Sorry, then I saw heaven opened and a white horse appeared. Its rider is the faithful and true. He judges and wages just wars. Jesus is not only a prophet, he is Messiah. God specially created him to be anointed. He is so simple and humble that if it was unavoidable, he would ride a donkey, not a horse. But here we find a man on white horse. It is not a correct parable of a man like Jesus Christ. Faithful means mumin. In the Quran, Muslims are addressed as faithful as, as mumins many times. He judges means he is a man from a separate religion. If he was a man in of Bible, it would not be said here. He wages just wars means he does jihad. So verse 11 indicates he is not Jesus Christ. Verse 12, his eyes are flames of fire. He wears many crowns and written on him is his own name, which no one can understand except himself. His eyes are flames of fire. It cannot be a description of Jesus Christ. Verse 13, he is clothed in a cloak, drenched in blood. His name is the Word of God. He is a man on horse. His eyes are flames of fire. His cloth is drenched in blood. So is a man in war. He is Ayatullah, meaning Word of God. Verse 12 and 13 also indicates he is not Jesus Christ. Verse 14. The armies of heaven, clothed in pure white linen, follow him on white horses. This is the only point that can be attributed to Jesus Christ. Verse 15 A sharp sword come out of his mouth. With it he will strike the nations, for he must rule them with an iron rod. He treats the winepress of the burning wrath of God, the master of the universe. Sword coming out of mouth is the Quran. God designed it to be a medicine of the diseased heart, hearts. You don't have to analyze it, you just keep reciting it. It will silently shape up your heart. So he is, he is follower of the Quran. He rules with iron rod, that is weapon. So he is not Jesus. I am not trying to replace Jesus with Imam Mahdi or trying to prove him equal. 
Jesus is a prophet. Most of intelligent nations and mighty nations are, are his followers. Moreover, he is Christ. According to Islamic teaching, a man, how great he would be, cannot be equal to a prophet of God. Imam Mahdi is just an end-time leader in Islam. If you ask a Muslim who is greater, Khalid bin Walid or Imam Mahdi, he will tell you Khalid bin Walid is greater because Khalid bin Walid was a companion of Prophet. Peace be upon him. In Islamic teaching, many, Imam Mahdi even cannot be equal to a minor companion of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Going back to Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12 verse 6. While the woman fled to the desert, where God has prepared a place for her, there she would be looked after for 1260 days. In Bible prophecy, 1260 days is 1260 years. This 1260 years is not the duration from the time of the child was taken up. It is 1260 years of chapter 11, the time in which the olive trees will flourish. It is discussed in part 2 of these videos. 11 out of 12 Imams were killed by Umayyad and Abbas Said Caliphs. The 12th Imam, Imam Mahdi, was taken up when he was about to be killed. After Mahdi, the priest family dispersed, fled to desert. God prepared place for them. Some of them became kings in distant lands. Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 to 9 War broke out in heaven with Michael and his angels, battling with dragon. The dragon fought back with his angels, but they were defeated and lost their place in heaven. The great dragon, the ancient serpent known as the devil or Satan, seducer of the whole world, was thrown out. He was hurled down to earth together with his angels. Holy Bible The main Satan will be thrown down to the earth. He will take the entity called Antichrist. He will have full power for three and a half years. Revelation chapter 12 verse 10 to 12 Then I heard a loud voice from heaven. Now has salvation come with the power and the kingdom of our God and rule of his anointed. For, the brothers, for our brother's accuser has been cast out who accused them night and day before God. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they gave up their lives going to death. They became martyrs. Rejoice therefore, O you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to you, earth and sea, for the devil has come to you in anger, knowing that he has but a little time. Jesus will descend after Antichrist will appear on the earth. Revelation chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. When the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. Then the woman was given two wings of the great eagle so that she might fly into desert, where she would be looked after for three and a half years. In the end time also, priests in the house of Imam Mahdi will be pursued by Shaitan, the Antichrist. Three and a half years is the time of Antichrist. But they will be given shelter by God. They will fly away in the desert. Note, Muslim priest and political leader is same man, except he, if he is in teaching or preaching line. Or a Sufi, a saint who left everything till such time he is connected to God or till such time he is anointed by God is called Sufi. Therefore, in cases a Muslim priest may look like a terrorist because he is a religious as well as political leader. Revelation chapter 12 The serpent poured water out of his mouth after the woman to carry her away in the flood. But the earth came to her rescue. It opened its mouth and shallowed the flood which the dragon had poured from its mouth. In Bible prophecy, water means people. Serpent will invest many people to catch the priest of the house of Imam Mahdi. But the earth, but the earth is big. It will happen before the extreme period of Antichrist, three and a half years. Dragon the Shaitan will bring serpent. 
serpent has already come and invested the people but failed to catch the priest. Revelation is a book, terrorist book, man. Now I am afraid of explaining it. Official symbol of US Navy is serpent. The flag they fly during the war bears the picture of serpent. They are trying to catch the terrorist who many Muslims call priest. Revelation chapter 12 Then the dragon was furious with the woman and went, went off to wage war on the rest of her children, those who keep God's commandments and bear witness to, to Jesus. And he stood on the seashore. Here this he is not the dragon. He is serpent. Dragon went to wage, wage war and serpent stood on the seashore. Serpent has failed. Now he will be he will be just standing on the seashore in the shore of Arab and Gulf seas. But Dragon the Shaitan is still furious with the woman. He is now planning to fight all Muslims and Christians who are real followers of, his, of Jesus and follow the true truth directed from the Bible, directly from Bible. Those who keep God's commandments follow the laws of Moses and bear witness of Jesus that is God is one human can be home of God or human can be anointed now dragon will leave the serpent and mount on the beast soon beast empire will be re-established in Europe Satan himself will appear in the disguise of a false prophet Antichrist to help the formation of the beast empire beast will destroy Babylon USA and capture all Muslim countries then Imam Mahdi will appear to rescue Muslims. Jesus will descend to destroy the beast and Antichrist. It will be clear in subsequent videos. To summarize, chapter 12 identifies Imam Mahdi as an important party in the end time theater. Imam Mahdi will free Muslims from Christian occupation, but he will be cornered by Antichrist when Jesus will descend and save him. Now serpent is recoiling. Soon she will be a floating duck at the shore of Arabian and Persian Gulf. But Shatan, the dragon, will not quench. He will now leap the serpent and mount on the beast. He will unite north and south and, and destroy the Babylon USA to capture the whole world subsequently. Things are rolling down fast. USA failed in Afghanistan. Its economy dying. Arabs denying to obey their rulers. Europe needs to rise. This sense of Europe that Europe needs to rise will be encased by the dragon to make the Europe a united one, to make the empire of beast and an united Europe. Booster charge is ignited. Nobody can stop it now. We are passing our last few days in the current world order. USA had been a mighty hammer in the hand of God. With that God stopped second world war, destroyed communism, and crashed infidel Saddam, but entering in Afghanistan was a great blunder. Never again will the light of a lamb shine in you. The voice of bridegroom and bride will never again be heard in you, because your traitors were world's great, and you led the nation astray by your magic spell. Babylon was punished because the blood of prophets and the God's people was found in the city. Yes, the blood of all who have been killed on the earth. Revelation 18, Holy Bible. Please visit part 4. Thank you.